All right, guys, we're gonna come to the mat. Let's lay flat on our back, curling and rolling back, coming to that neutral spine. So we've got that little gap, that little tunnel at the small of the back. I'm gonna place my hands on my hips so I can kind of regulate what's going on in my spine and in my pelvis. Let's bring our right leg up to tabletop, finding that bend at the hip and at the knee. And on the inhale, the foot's gonna lower to the mat, and exhale, hinge. Working those single leg lowers, we draw the abdominals in deeper as the foot lowers towards the mat. And remember guys, you can always scale, so you can make a smaller movement up here. And we wanna work just from the hip. Just allow the leg to move smoothly. We're not adding any movement to the knee to help find the floor with the foot. And we'll pause at tabletop with that right leg and then we'll reach forward. Inhale forward and exhale back to tabletop. Working forward out to that 45 degree angle as we lengthen the leg out of the hip, we reach. Keeping that movement just in the hip not allowing the spine to shift as the leg moves forward. We do need to draw the abdominals up and in the straighter the leg gets, the farther it moves away from our center line. And we're gonna go forward with that right leg, hold it out, and we're gonna lower on the inhale, and lift. Inhale to lower, and exhale to lift. Nice and smooth movement of the leg, reaching nice and long. Last three. And we'll bend the knee, draw the heel in, line it up nicely with the sit bone, take a moment to readjust. And left leg comes to tabletop. Working our single leg lowers, we inhale to lower the foot to the mat and exhale to reset. Nice smooth movement of the leg and the hip. Allowing the leg to move freely, keeping the hip nice and stable, the back nice and stable as the leg moves. And on our next one, we'll bring that left leg back to tabletop, we'll hold, ribs and abdominals knit in as we inhale to extend the left leg forward, and exhale, draw it back. Reaching out nice and long, and pressing back. Reach and extend, find that movement from the hip. Two more and then we'll go for our straight leg lowers. Pressing out strong with that left leg, we're gonna inhale, leg lowers to the mat, and exhale to lift. Try not to let the back flex as the leg lifts higher towards the ceiling. Keeping the core tight, through abdominals and back extensors, neck is long, with shoulders sliding back and down, and last three. And one. Bending the knee, drawing the heel towards the hip, we'll square the feet and the legs off. Fingers are going to interlace, bringing our hands back behind our head to support the head, neck, and chest. 
Finding that little arch at the small of the back. We'll exhale to fold the mid ribs to lift. Inhale to pause. And we're gonna rotate over to that right shoulder blade, twisting through the mid ribs, rotating through to center and twisting left. Back to our midline and we'll curl and roll back. Next exhale, folding at the mid ribs across the bra line to lift, head, neck, and chest. We're gonna go two to each side. Twisting to the right for one, left for one, one more each side. Back to center and reset the upper body back to the mat. We're gonna climb this rep ladder to a set of five. Folding and lifting, working those chest lifts with rotation, that swivel from shoulder to shoulder, right across the midline, keeping the hips and the legs still and stable. And finding that reset. Exhale, fold and lift. In for four to each side. Allowing the distance between the chest and the ribs to be symmetrical from side to side. So no matter as you're twisting, the lower half of your torso stays nice and stable. And slow to reset. Last one, set of five rotations to each side, supporting the head and the neck with the arms. Upper abdominals are drawing in to help with the chest lift, keeping the collarbone spreading wide. Ribs and abdominals are drawn into the back. Last set to each side. And reset back to the mat. Arms come down nice and long by the side of the body. We'll bring our legs back to tabletop, hugging through inner thigh, drawing the abdominals in. If you need to add a little bit of a tuck of the hips to flatten the back, to decompress the low back, draw the knees in just a little bit. Otherwise, we'll hold neutral, and we're gonna take our legs to the right and back to center. We're rocking off of the opposite hip, but anchoring that opposite shoulder. Gliding from side to side as if we're rolling a ball from hip to hip. The knees, shins, and feet trace a straight line across the ceiling as they rock from side to side. Working that rotation through the mid ribs, just like our chest with the Chest lift with rotation, even though this is the lower half of our body. One more each side. And back to center. Fingers interlace once again. We bring our hands back behind the head. We'll fold and lift the head, neck, and chest. Holding that chest lift with a strong tabletop position, and we'll move into crisscross. Left leg forward, rotate the body right, and we'll switch. Adding a little pause at the center to make sure that you're evenly weighted from hip to hip. So you're not rocking off one side. One more each side. And we'll draw the knees in towards the chest, round the back, shoulders and head drop back to the mat and we rest. One more breath. And we'll return our feet to the mat with knees bent. 
heels and legs in line with the sit bone. Arms reach down nice and long at our side. We're going to tilt the hips back. Imprint the low back. Press through the feet as you engage the back of the legs and the hips, lifting the hips in for our pelvic curl as we articulate and peel the spine up off the mat. Holding that strong bridge at the top for a breath or two, and then exhale to articulate, curling and rolling down piece by piece, rolling along the spine all the way through towards the tailbone. Collarbone is spreading wide. The shoulders are staying down the back. Imagine that your head is resting against a wall so you can't slide up your mat. We want to anchor the bottom half of the shoulder blades, especially at the highest point of our hip lift, to keep us from overextending the mid and upper back. Ribs knit in, cinching up tight, drawing to your center line as the hips peel up off the mat. On our next bridge, our next pelvic curl, we're going to hold the height of the hips at the top. Pausing for a breath here as we reach the knees forward, lifting the hips high, pressing across the shoulder girdle to the mat. We're going to lift the heels up, working that calf raise and heels lower. Still trying to keep the height of the hip as the heels lift and lower. Moving the ankle joint to allow the heels to rise, engaging the back of the lower leg, keep the glutes active, drawing the abdominals to the back, two more heel lifts. And we'll curl and articulate all the way back down along the spine through and back to neutral. Floating the right foot up off of the mat, just hovering about an inch or so above the floor, we inhale to extend the right leg out, and exhale to draw it back. Reaching out nice and long, keep that symmetry in and across the hips and in relation to the ribs and the shoulders. So there's no shift of the torso as the leg moves. Reaching that right leg out nice and long, nice and strong, we're going to make little clockwise circles down at the bottom, just hovering above the mat, drawing little circles, the whole leg is shifting in the hip, and we'll reverse directions, counterclockwise, drawing in tight through the core, stabilizing the back and the hip as the leg moves, two, one, and we'll bend the knee, reset the foot back in line with the sit bone. Floating that left foot to take to just off of the mat, about an inch or two, and we inhale to reach out, and exhale to glide back. Extending the leg nice and long, lengthening it out of the hip, Feeling the tension build in the leg, the straighter the leg becomes, especially up the quad at the front of the leg. And we reach that left leg out, nice and strong, nice and long. We're going to work counterclockwise with the left foot first. Those nice smooth circles. Keeping them small, low to the floor. 
and we'll change. Changing that circle direction. Nice and smooth as the leg circles in the hip. Three, two, one. Bending the knee, drawing the heel back towards the hip. Taking a moment to reset the spine. Arms reach up overhead, palms up towards the ceiling as we draw the ribs in. And on the exhale, arms flow forward. We fold the mid ribs to lift the head, neck, and chest. And inhale to reset, pressing down through the bottom half of the sacrum as you reset the upper body to keep the movement out of the low back. So there's that transfer of tension and energy up and down the sacrum. One more chest lift, folding deep at the mid ribs. We'll hold here, folding deep, finding the anchor towards the tailbone. And the arms reach up and circle out to the sides, around and back to the hip, working these up circle motions, keeping the chest lifted as the arms circle back and around. Bracing tighter through the core, the farther overhead the arms travel. And we'll change our circle direction, going out to that T. Up and around by the ears, the arms flow forward along the side of the torso. And out. Two more. Shoulders and head reach back to the mat. Arms come out to your T position. Walk your feet and your legs together. And we're gonna tip the legs and the hips to the right into a nice stretch, rotational stretch. Turn the head, look out over the left shoulder, the left arm, anchoring the right shoulder down and back. Breathing into that stretch, trying not to over flare the rib cage or over arch the back. We're creating that rotation through the mid ribs, just along the bra line. One more breath. And then drawing the abdominals in, we control the unwind and legs, hips, Lower half, twist to the left. Head and neck looks out over that right shoulder. One more breath. And slow to reset. Arms come nice and long down by your side. We're gonna to go to our small V position. Heels are together. We're gonna to walk the heels back towards the tailbone. I wanna start in a heel lift. So our heels are pressed together. They're also up off of the mat about an inch or two. Knees are turned out. We've got that great external rotation coming from the hip. And we're gonna bridge, pushing in through the ball of the foot. We lift the hips up, sending the knees forward towards the toes. Pausing for a breath, and then hinging at the hip to lower the torso, lower the hips back to the mat. If you like the spinal articulation, that movement of the back on and off the mat, you can add that back in or stay with this more neutral spine position.
We're folding in at the mid ribs as the hips lift, keeping that extension out of the back and the flare out of the ribs. One more, we lift, we hold at the top. Drawing the ribs and the abdominals in, the heels lower together. And lift. Engaging the calves of the lower leg as the heels lift high. Trying to keep the height of the hips throughout the movement as best you can. Try not to create any flexion at the front of the hip as the feet move and the ankles move. Last three. And resetting the hips back to the mat. Legs extend out forward nice and long, pointing through the toes and squeezing through inner thighs. We're going to bring the arms up overhead, palms are turned in, reaching up strong on the inhale, arms flow forward as we lift the head, neck and chest, folding deep at the mid ribs and exhale to draw the abdominals up and in as we curl up off of the mat, coming into our C curve for our roll up, slide those shoulders down as you lengthen the head and the neck and exhale, tilt the hips back, curling back. Resetting the spine down against the mat piece by piece. Rolling along the spine segment by segment. And as we reach overhead, we draw the ribs in, maintaining that neutral spine. And inhale to fold and begin to lift. Exhale to scoop and draw up, draw in. Pulling that tension up and under through the rib cage. Bringing the shoulders over the hips in our C curve as we drop the shoulders down and lengthen the neck. And exhale to curl back. Rolling along the spine. Keeping the legs long and strong. They're reaching away from your torso, out of the hip. Drawing the abdominals in deeper to the back as you curl and roll up. Creating that curve, that C curve in the spine. One more. We'll dive forward, reach out over the legs, stretching long towards the feet, keeping that plantar flex position of the foot and the ankle with the toes reaching forward to begin with as we stretch. One more breath. And we'll dorsiflex, draw the toes back towards the shins, reach for the feet with your hands, and then walk out onto your sit bones a little bit more. So you have less out of that hip tuck. We're gonna lengthen and stretch to the back of the leg. Find that movement at the ankle as you draw the top of the foot back towards the shins. One more breath. And we'll curl and raise back. Sitting up taller, sitting up longer. 
I'm going to open my stance just a little bit so that way my legs are sits bones distance apart. Right knee is going to bend, placing my foot flat to the mat to start off with. And I want to try to find that seated position long up out of the tailbone, out of the sit bone. I'm going to hinge back just a little bit. So I create that flat back, but enough space for my leg and my torso. I'm going to draw my right knee to my chest for one, two, three. Right leg is going to extend out. I'm going to grab the back of the leg and then walk down, finding that round back position as I walk down the leg, the legs reaching up for the ceiling. Nice and long, folding deep at the mid ribs, pulling that leg to you for one, two, three. And we'll bend the knee to tabletop, curl and roll back up, finding that C curve, and then extending the spine. Still kind of back a little bit for that flat back. We draw the knee to the chest for one, two, Three, leg extends out. We tilt the hips back, walk down the leg, finding that hollow position. Leg is reaching up high towards the ceiling. We grab the calf and we pulse in for one, two, three. Bending the knee to tabletop and curling and rolling up. One more on this right side before we switch. Grabbing the shin, flat, long back. One, two, three. Right leg extends, walking down to that hollowed position, grabbing the back of the calf and we pulse the leg in for one, two, three. Bending the tabletop and curling and rolling back up. We'll extend the right leg out Bend the left knee, draw the heel back towards the sit bone. Sitting up nice and tall, we hinge back, making space. Left knee pulses in for one, two, three. The leg extends out and we walk down for one, two, three. Pausing in that C curve, we'll reach up for the calf and then pulse. Straight leg pulse for three. Knee bends to tabletop and we'll curl and roll back up. Placing the foot down, extend the spine, lean back, grab the shin, and we draw knee to chest for three pulses. As we extend the leg, we tuck the tailbone and we walk down to curl back into that C curve, still folded deep at the mid ribs. Grabbing the left calf, straight leg pulse in for three for that deeper stretch. And we bend the leg to tabletop at the knee, curling and rolling up, dropping the foot, extending the back. Our last one, one two, three. Tucking the tailbone as the left leg extends and straightens and we walk it down. Straight long legs, we reach for that calf, shoulders down and back and we pulse in for one, two, three. Bending the knee to tabletop and we curl and roll up. Legs are going to separate, mat width apart, toes are pulled back towards the shin and we're sitting up tall and long, out of the sit bones. Arms reach forward as they slide down and back through the shoulders, chin to chest, we reach and fold, folding and curling out over the legs. Hands come to the ball of the foot or to the shins, whichever you can reach. We press down through the back of the legs. Hinge deeper at the ankle, fold ourselves forward over the thighs, creasing that stretch up the back of the legs along the spine as the head lengthens towards the feet. Breathing deep. One more breath. 
and we'll curl and raise back. Sitting up nice and tall and long. We're going to bring our legs together. Flexed at the ankle so the toes are pulled back. Bringing our arms out to a T position, palms up. Twisting through the mid ribs. We're going to twist to the right, keeping the arms pulled apart and we pulse for one, two, three. Coming through to center, we move and rotate through the mid ribs and we pulse for one, two, Three, arms are pulling across wide, collarbone spreads wide as we sit longer and taller, ribs knit in deeper, drawing abdominals to spine. Last one to the left. And arms come forward, chin to chest, Curl forward, round over the legs, reach for the feet, and stretch. Soles of the feet come together, in for our butterfly stretch. We're going to drop the knees out to the side, sitting up nice and tall, flat back, proud chest, and we'll hinge at the hip. I'm going to press my elbows or my hands against the knees to allow the legs to drop further towards the floor. One more breath. And we'll sit up and sit tall. I'm going to straighten the left leg, cross the right foot over the left thigh, sitting up nice and tall. Now I'm going to bend the left knee, wrap the left foot around to the outside of the right hip, wrapping my left arm around my right knee, twisting through the mid ribs. We rotate back, deepening that stretch in the right hip. We sit tall. Sitting long, stretching up for the ceiling as we press the hips down for the floor. And slow to unwind. Right leg comes forward. Resetting yourself up tall on your sit bones. We're going to take the left foot Cross it over the right thigh, bending that right knee, bringing the heel back by the left hip. We lengthen tall towards the ceiling. The right arm wraps around the shin. We drop the shoulders and we twist back, feeling that stretch through the left hip. And we lengthen the spine as we plant the hips against the mat. We stretch up, stretch tall. One more breath. And slow to unwind. Legs are going to come nice and straight. We're going to turn on to our left side, reaching the left arm out. We're going to stack the head onto the bicep. Let's actually bend the bottom left leg at the hip and at the knee as the ribs and abs knit in, dropping that right shoulder down. We're going to reach the right leg long and lift, extending that leg strong out of the hip. Feeling that tension build along the leg from hip to foot. Three, two, one. We're going to float the right leg up off the mat parallel to the floor 
and we reach forward with the legs, kicking forward, and then we point the toe, reaching back, feeling the front of the hip open, and flex to bring the leg forward. Flexing at the hip, flexing at the ankle, and then we point the toe, we're extending, reaching back, drawing the abdominals in so we don't overarch the low back. Nice and smooth, does not need to be a fast movement. We wanna maintain that control, that symmetry, and that tension throughout the core, not just the abdominals, but also the back extensors. So they hold the spine. One more. We're gonna change our leg position. Top right leg is gonna come forward, bent at the hip and at the knee. You could also add a pillow under the knee if you don't want the thigh coming this much into internal rotation. And we're gonna float the left leg up off of the mat. I'm flexed at the ankle, pulling the toes back, and we're gonna lift and lower. Three, two, one. Let's flip over, face down. Arms come nice and long down by your side, pulling in through inner thighs as you stretch the legs out of the hip. We draw ribs and abdominals up and in, reach the arms down towards your toes, and inhale, chest lifts. In for that basic back extension, we're hinging just below the shoulder blade at the mid ribs, across the bra line to lift the head, neck, and chest up into this strong thoracic upper back extension. We're keeping the tension out of our low back by engaging our glutes, bracing through the abdominals, squeezing through inner thighs, keeping the shoulders away from our neck and our ears. That tension builds at the back of the upper arm along the tricep. Three more. Hands come by the chest, the toes curl under, and we peel up. We sit back, tuck the tailbone, nice little stretch. And we'll flip over onto that right side. Resting your head on your right bicep, the right leg is bent at the hip and at the knee. Left leg hovers above the mat and we lift. Reaching that leg nice and long out of the hip as it lifts and straightens. Finding that length of the leg as the ribs draw in, spine stays long. And we'll pause, hovering at parallel above the floor. We exhale to bring the leg forward, hinging at the hip, point the toes and inhale to extend back, bracing more through the abdominals and into the glute as the leg travels behind and flex at the ankle. We exhale to flex at the hip to kick that straight leg forward. Nice and smooth and slow, trying to keep the movement out of the back. Allow the leg to move in the hip. Two more. Four. 
We'll change our leg position, right leg straightens, left leg folds over, and we're gonna flex at that right ankle, lift the foot up, and into adduction, lifting that right leg up towards the ceiling. Three, two, one. Flipping over face down. Hands come by the chest, reaching the legs out nice and long. Light touch of the hands against your mat as you draw the shoulders down and back. And we're gonna inhale to lift the head, neck, and chest. Keeping that light touch of the hands on the mat, on the floor, and then lowering the upper body. Inhale to lift. And exhale, slow to lower. Last two. And we'll curl the toes under, peel up, and sit back. Sit back towards the heel, stretch out long overhead with the arms. And on our next exhale, we'll curl and restack the spine, peeling up piece by piece. Vertebra by vertebra, stretching up nice and long. Arms come up towards the ceiling. Fingers interlace and we stretch up and over to the right, opening up through the rib cage, back to center. Reach up long, over to the left. One more each side. And arms rest by your side. All right, guys, great work today.